What's up, everybody? It's your favorite robotic orphan's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the MMC exclusive R46 from their reformatted line, Vexo Promenon. Don't know what that means. However, it's supposed to be kind of a nod and a wink towards Batman, right? And I love Batman. A lot of people thought that I would be getting this because of my love of Batman. However, you are mistaken. Decent guess, nonetheless, but you are, in fact, mistaken. I like ice cream. I like pizza. I don't necessarily want ice cream on my pizza. That being said, I did want to take a look at it because I do think that the kind of novelty of it is cool. And shout out to Carl S. He hit me up and was like, hey, I got it. You want to take a look at it? And I jumped at the chance, really, because, well, I love Batman and I love Transformers. And while I don't need them together, I was anxious to take a look at the product from someone who did. With that being said, we're going to talk about it. But in order to do so, we're going to talk about accessories. For one, he comes with this cape. Now, I'm not sure about the cut of it, but the fabric is a really nice fabric. It's like a felt. Um, Hasbro and Mafex and SH Fig Arts could really take note of that. It's a good choice. And then there's a wire that goes all the way through, including the collar. So you should be able to pose it any which way you'd like. And that'll just go right over his head. And then you can even kind of use his chin to kind of clamp it down and make it look kind of more realistic. Uh, and it's, it's a pretty nice. I wish it was a bigger cape, but it's pretty nice and it works fairly well. And I love the cuts, how they're like kind of all over the place. I dig that too. And then you have these two things. Um, you know, they are what they are. They do stuff. You can put these bits down here. Got some silver paint on there. You know, nothing too crazy. But uh, it's supposed to emulate the bat wings kind of, right? And we got some metallic paint going down the side as well. In the bat wing mode, they'll plug into the sides. And then you can kind of pull off the Tim Burton. Obviously, you can have them in the same position in robot mode as well. And he'll hold those as well. And let's talk about it. So with these bits down and with those bits, sits quite nicely. Is it a boat? Is it a plane? Hard to say, really. Whatever your little imagination can decide. And let's see what else. Uh, you can put these down as well, and then you can kind of go into flying mode. Maybe it's amph amphibious? No, that's with land and then sea, right? So, I don't know, maybe it can go in the water. Dude, it can go wherever you want it to go. You bought it. But yeah, nice little deco. We have the um, canopy or can of peas here with the blue translucent for him to get in, some gray paint. There's actually like a, a good bit of little accents, some silver paint there. And there on the back, underneath, looks pretty clean. So yeah, I, I think it pulls it off fairly successfully. I think it's a cool little, I think it's a perfect exclusive. This is what an exclusive should look like. And there it is next to Tiger Tracks. We're gonna go ahead and transform it. I haven't looked at this mold in a long time and I'm not even sure I looked at this exact version of it. And I guess I should mention that these wings can go out to the side too, if you'd like them to, but I much prefer the kind of Tim Burton bat wing look. All right, open up the canopy or can of peas. Open up the uh, knee pads. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, just, you can kind of pull the arms away. You gotta open up this front bumper kind of piece. Move that back and make sure that you've disconnected if they haven't come disconnected already the feet from these bits and then you've got to lift up on these panels here up and over these clips that are holding it right where the canopy is and there there's one i got a slight stress mark on that guy but there's one and uh there's the other and then you want to bring them down they'll snap into place Collapse this, collapse this, sit these against the back, straighten the toes, bring the foot down, rotate the heel up. Same for this side, straighten the toes, foot down, heel up, you're in service. Untab the back of the thigh from this piece and you want to untab this piece, get that out of the way, bring these two side pieces, side pieces, around to the side and rotate the waist 180 degrees. Just be mindful of all of the 
little pieces. There's one that you gotta clear and then you can kind of get some of that into position. And here we go. So bring, next you wanna bring these arms up and out and rotate them so that they're sitting on this side. But don't get them too committed yet because we gotta get some of this up and out of the way. Open up the chest. As you come to flip the back down, flip these pieces out and tuck them up and underneath his armpits. And not only will this secure the backpack, but it will also kind of lock the arms in place as well. And then bring that chest up Rotate the arms until it makes anatomic sense. And rotate the head and flip this little piece down. Then you want to get the landing gear out of the way and flip the wings down if that is the desired look that you would like. And it's a bit much for me, uh, but it's an option nonetheless. And let's see what, it, oh yeah, this thing here. So, um, this, I'm not exactly sure if you're supposed to have it up. I think I prefer it up. I guess you could collapse it down too, but I think I prefer it up. You just have to be mindful of it when you use the uh, waist swivel. Uh, but yeah, that's this fella in a nutshell. I'll clean him up, we'll take a look at it. So let's have a look. I love the head sculpt. Definitely feels like Batman. Even feels kind of like an armored Batman, which is cool. Smart, different shades of gray and black. We have the silver painted, eyes painted, face painted. Looks good. It's on a ball peg, get you up to there down to there uh, swivel confused bat look we have a waist swivel and we have some different decos on the chest between the gray black and silver all works pretty well massive ball peg for the shoulder it's on a hinge it can get you up to there so just shy of 90 degrees but close enough I think plus the swivel around because it's on a ball peg you do get a little bit of a uh, butterfly forward and back so nothing to complain about there all the deco comes through nicely as well bicep swivel double jointed elbow gets you pretty much the full run that the mold allows for and then a wrist swivel fingers are on a base pin knuckle that joint is tight the index finger is independently articulated but all of them are just on that single hinge with tight rider fingers all right then you have the hips stuff here. If we get these hips, I love the, the utility belt. Looks awesome. The yellow is painted brilliantly. We have universals for hips. We'll get these up and out of the way. Full Van Dam. Full Monty. No issues. Thigh swivel built in at the bottom of the connecting point piece to the universal. Silver's painted on. Looks good. We have silvers painted on the kneecaps. That looks good. Double jointed knee gets you a decent range. There's a lot of kibble there, so that's not the cleanest in the world, but you get it. Um, let's see. A couple of paint accents on the inside of the leg. We have an ankle tilt up. Slight. Oh, no, it's a pretty good one. Down. And a rocker on the ball peg. Plus, you have a toe hinge up, and that gets you more of a rocker. So you should be able to get the full range out of that. So, yeah, I mean, it's a decent little figure. It is. It definitely like is one of those MMC molds where while it's good, I, I feel like it has like a lot of chug tendencies, but um, overall it's pretty good. There it is from the back. Size comparison wise, there it is next to a masterpiece car, and just because I still have it handy, there it is next to Acid Storm. So hopefully that gives you some idea of size. And there it is next to Zero Year Batman, and it does kind of work as like a bat drone. Like I'm thinking Kingdom Come or something like that, if you're familiar. That does kind of give me the good vibes. Final thoughts wise, let's start with the negatives. This isn't my favorite mold ever. There's a lot of kibbly bits stuff in the way. It makes it feel kind of incomplete in robot mode. That's my most subjective criticism regarding it and also the one that I feel the most passionately about. Other things that bother me, there's that one kind of over under tab that we showed early on in the transformation where I have a stress mark. So stuff like that is a bit unfortunate. I'm not even sure that that was necessary. But honestly, that's probably my only real issues here.
Positives wise, I think it's sculpted pretty well. The transformation is easy, fun, and enjoyable. The accessories are cool. The alt mode looks awesome. It kind of looks like a bad drone. The cape kind of works. There's enough paint breakup to make it look visually interesting. The articulation's pretty solid across the board, with the arms being the only thing that kind of feel clunky. And I got news for you, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a fun figure to mess around with. So ultimately, I recommend for me if you're interested. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.